Hey everybody, Ray here. Do you have the problem that I have that sometimes when working with a cross-cut sled, it wants to tip off that saw when you pull it back very far? It's kind of dangerous and I don't like it, but I found a really, really simple solution for that, and I'm going to show you that in this video. If you like this video, don't forget, hit me with that thumbs up. I always appreciate it. Now, as you know, I'm a huge fan of Rockler's cross-cut sled. I found that it allows me to be really accurate with my cuts, and it's a really just a big help. And I've also added this drop-off part of the sled here too, which I think is also very good. And if you buy the Rockler Crosscut sled, I would advise you to buy the drop-off sled as well. Now one thing that I have found though is, if I'm trying to draw this back, sometimes it's going to rock off of there and cause me a problem. In particular, if I'm trying to cut an 11 or 12 inch board, that's really a problem. And I think it's kind of dangerous. Well, I figured out a way to take care of that. Believe it or not, to add the support piece for my crosscut sled only required two things. One is, one of these fold down hinges because I don't want it sticking out all the time. I want it to be put away when I'm not using it and I want to just be able to fold it down. The second thing is the support itself that I will be connecting to this fold down hinge. And what I had to do was to cut a little notch in here and you'll see why. But it's really simple. Just two pieces. So the first thing I had to do is figure out where this support was going to fit on my table. And I knew right here on my cart, I could use the edge to support that piece and I could bring it up level with the table of my saw. So when I would slide back my crosscut sled, it would slide right over the top of this. Once I knew how to make that and how to cut that groove out in here, you see why I needed that groove? So I can continue to adjust my sled back or my fence back and forth and not bump into that. Once I figured that out, then all I had to do was take my extension piece here and figure out where I needed it to connect to the edge of my cart right there such that it would now support this when I brought it up right exactly even with the table of my saw. So once I had the piece cut to mount to my collapsible shelf piece here, then all I had to do was put them together. So I pre-drilled holes into my support bar here, and I just mounted them, mounted it with one inch wood screws. Once I had my support mounted to my fold down bracket here, then I could go back and re-measure exactly where I needed this to be so it would be flush with the tabletop and I could mark and pre-drill the holes to be able to mount it. I mounted it with two inch screws. I wanted something longer because I wanted to go far enough into the plywood to get good support. Now I also did pre-drill into the plywood because as you know Plywood will split very easily if it's not pre-drilled and you try to drill into the edge with screws. It just doesn't work very well. Okay, there you go. It tilts down out of the way, but when you need to cut a longer board, you just flip that up and it's ready for use. And then when you bring that back, you're going to be just fine. And to show you, I'm going to show you that same piece of board that I was having trouble keeping it balanced. And if I put that board on there now, which is a 12 inch wide board, I can easily get back way further than I need. I could cut a 15 or 16 inch board and cross cut here and get a really nice smooth and accurate cut because of this add-on. It just simply works great. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you and it solves a problem for you like it did for me. And it was just dead simple to do. As I mentioned, I really do like this Rockler Crosscut sled. I think that it really lends to my accuracy and I use it all the time. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, hit me with that thumbs up. You know I appreciate it. 